Welcome back to my Let's Play world. Today we are going to transform this kind of sad looking nether portal into something much, much better. It has a pretty good view from up here, so I really want to take these trees down and have this lovely sunset view from where the portal is going to go. And I love the watercolour in the Cherry Grove Valley, so I think we're going to have something, some kind of water feature around here I think would look really cool, and some waterfalls spilling down into the rest of the valley with the rest of our builds. Now those trees are out of the way, we can see we've got a really nice shape to the land here. I really want to kind of try and work with the terrain that we have and have some water flowing down here and then down again here. So kind of a double waterfall I think will look quite cool. And then we have a little path leading up to another portal right at the top, which I think is gonna look awesome. I do like the terrain, but I think we need to just do a little bit of shaping to it, make this slightly wider so that we've got a bit more room to work with with our build. Okay, that's looking much better, much more space for us to put some kind of water feature in here. I definitely need some more obsidian because we used up all of the obsidian that we had making that nether portal and I want to make it slightly bigger. So there should be some lava pools out here. Yep, there's one. And we can just collect up a bunch of obsidian from this pool to take home with us. Now we definitely won't need any obsidian for a long time, we've got over a stack of obsidian. I actually might, I think there's another lava pool somewhere around here, I might just, yep there it is, I might just grab a couple of buckets of lava while we're out here too. And then we can make an infinite lava source back at our base. I think that would be really handy to have. We also don't really have a proper smelting setup yet. Oh. Hey piggies. Maybe somewhere down here in our caving mining area. Maybe just through here. And then we can just set up a little lava farm. Let's do this quickly. There we go. And then just two cauldrons down here and there goes the lava drips, these will fill up. And on the other side, we can have a bit of a smelting set up as well. There we go, that's a nice functional room. We have infinite lava source set up, we have a proper smelting system that we can put tons of things into here. And we can expand all of this if we need to, I can bring the lava along once we get some going. Now we can get back to the nether portal that we're to be working on. <laughs> so now we want the nether portal to be central to this area I think. So if we go with this opening here, this will be our center point, excuse me. And we can take down this nether portal or maybe we'll just take down part of it and make it slightly bigger, keeping it. This is our central middle point and that should be big enough I think. Take a look from over here. Yep, that's definitely good. That's definitely, is that central? Have I measured that wrong? No, that's the middle. We need to slope this side down or yeah, we'll make the sides a bit more even, but that is the center of here. I think I wanna turn this into kind of a proper cave. So if we get rid of all of the dirt back in here. And I just moved the nether portal back a little bit. I think that's a better placement actually. I think what I want up here is to have kind of a water pool, like it's coming from the mountain, like this is the water source I think. So we can have some kind of stony platform and a pathway that comes out this way. Not too much of this stone brick, we want it to look very weathered. It's going to be surrounded by water, we want lots of moss and then all of this will be filled with water to go all the way around the outside and fill in all of this space and there we go we have our nether portal and a little water pool here we need to tidy all of this up but this is kind of the idea and then we'll continue down the mountain side so this is this is what I'm kind of thinking so far I think this is gonna look good let's take a look from over here 
yeah, I think this idea is going to start to work once we get some more detailing in here. I think having the cave, keeping the cave is probably a good idea. We need the water to be coming from somewhere though, I think. And we'll make some of it a little bit deeper. And we just add a bit of detailing in the walls as well with some cobblestone and some mossy cobble because this is a watery cave after all. Yep, that sort of thing will look just perfect. I want to add some greenery and some light in here as well and I think we should bone meal in the water as well to get this looking nice and overgrown and green. Yep, that's looking good. I don't think I have any kelp but maybe we could get some kelp and some water lilies would look good here as well but we don't have any of those. We'll have to go find a swamp. Oh, there we go. There's the sunset. This is the exact view that I wanted from up here. This is going to look so good with the sunset in the background. I love it. And I think I'll also add some leaves in here as well. I think this will really help to make it look a bit greener while the other things grow. And we can kind of have these going into the water. I think that looks good. Now that we can waterlog leaves like this, it looks doesn't look out of place under the water, which is good. Yeah, just a bit of leaves as well. That's really helping with, with the greenery in here. And we can even use some oak leaves because in the cherry blossom grove, everything is kind of this slightly yellowier green. So you can see the one I'm holding is really bright green, but actually when you place oak leaves in the cherry grove, it's got this kind of more muted yellowy color. So it fits really well with the azalea leaves as well. So we can sprinkle a few of these in for a bit more contrast. I think this cave is looking sufficiently overgrown and I've got rid of all of the torches and replaced the lighting with the glow berries. We've just got a few growing around and I think that that gives a much better lighting option. It kind of just gives it a bit of a natural glow instead of the harsh obvious torch just sitting on the wall which I don't like maybe we'll try and get some pickles maybe to go oh maybe do I have pickles let me check it doesn't look like we have any pickles um we also don't have any like lily pads or any kelp either you know the ocean isn't too far away let's go see if we can get some we can definitely get some kelp let's grab a whole bunch of this this will be useful if we want to make any bubble column elevators as well Okay, we're back over in the warm ocean. It's not actually too far away by boat if you don't get distracted by shipwrecks like I did last time. And we're just looking out for sea pickles. Okay, I can see glowing. Yep, there's sea pickles here. Let's just go grab a bunch. We can bone meal these, but as we've established, I don't have very much bone meal left. So I'm going to grab all of, the, all of the sea pickles that I want to use right now so that we don't have to use up our bone mill our, our non-existent bone mill okay i think we've got almost a stack that should be fine the only other thing that would be nice to have is some lily pads but i have not seen a swamp or a mangrove swamp anywhere in this world yet so we'll definitely have to do a bit more exploring in order to find some lily pads but it would be really nice to find some you know while we're passing back by this pillager tower maybe i should try and go grab the chest and see if there is an armor trim in here that we were after before we have some way better armor than we had the last time we were here so i feel a bit braver although i did forget to bring my sword goodbye pillager where where are your where's your oh here's the stairs where are your chests give me your loot oh you do have them yes and a horn i'll take all of these thank you very much and we're getting out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And it's night time and I forgot to bring my bed. Let's get back home before the night falls too much. Our home. That's our home just up there. Oh, the little nether portal cave is looking very cute at night time up there. Check that out. Oh my gosh, that's so good. No, there's a zombie somewhere that I do not want. So we managed to get the sentry armor trim and we can add that in here with all of the other armor trims we've got. We should definitely put some of these on our armor soon. I Now that I've got some good armor, I'm going to try and use these. Let's try out our goat horn as well. Oh, that's a good one. Sentry. Okay. 
And while we're getting distracted, let's go and check on our sniffers as well, see how they're doing at collecting seeds for us. I'd really like to use some of the flowers in the nether portal build that we're doing. So let's see, how are you getting on? Doing pretty well. Let's breed them up again. And I actually might hatch a couple more sniffers into this barn. It's not very big. So we don't want to have too many in here. We are going to have most of the sniffers just free roaming. We're definitely going to have more than two, uh, but we're going to have them free roaming. And I think in order to get some more seeds slightly quicker, I'm going to just hatch a couple more sniffers. Let's put you down on the moss back here. There we go. You can have two of your babies are going to hatch and they can help collect up all of the seeds that we are going to need. Now we can just add a bit more detail in here with some kelp and some sea pickles for some lighting as well. Wow, they actually really light it up quite a lot. I might even get rid of the glow berries in here. There we go. I didn't realize sea pickles were so bright. They give off a huge amount of light. That's, that's awesome. Okay, yeah, I think that looks, let's take a look from over here. Yes, I actually much, much prefer that, the light coming from the water. I think it looks a lot more magical. But I think that this is looking really nice for the top part of this nether portal build. I kind of might add a few more leaves actually over the edge here. We've got this grass kind of edge sticking out. And I think what would be good is if we have some leaves and vines kind of curling down and under. Yes, yes, that's what it needs. Yeah, okay, I definitely need some more of the flowering azalea leaves. Let's go get some more of those. Let's check on our little sniffers. Yep, the babies have hatched. We've got two extra babies in here now. And I have been using down here, this cave that we covered over is where I have been uh, bone mealing my moss. So <laughs> let's see if we can get, that's what I wanted. Some azalea bushes. Let's go grow them into trees. And now we can get all of our azalea leaves. Perfect. I might also just try sprinkling in some cherry blossom leaves as well to see how they look. And then we'll also get a bit of the particle effect from the leaves as well as they fall. And now we also have this really cool effect of the pink petals and the purple from the portal kind of mingling together. They've stopped falling now as soon as I start talking about it. There we go, pink petals and the purple particles all mingling together and they look so cute. I really love how this area has turned out and from a distance it also looks really nice and we've got a bit more greenery in the front now. I think that that was definitely too much of an empty space but we've got this really nice naturally lit up cave. I'm definitely going to put some more glow berries in there actually. I want some more of these vines hanging. I don't think we can have too many. So the next part of this build is for us to connect this area with, oh, if I can not fall off, with this middle layer down here. So we need to put a staircase in, trying to keep it nice and mossy. And then here we're gonna have two waterfalls coming out on either side, heading down to a big pool down here. Okay, let's just, block these back off for now while we fix up the area. So they're going to come out here which means we will want them to spill directly down and we're going to want this to actually be stone. We want this to look like it was built here so we'll get rid of all of this dirt. I'm going to use some tough lower down just for a bit more texture as well. And there we go, that's looking good. I think that looks nice and structured. This looks like a kind of built-in wall but it's still fitting in with the the natural terrain but it's been built here to hold in the water and I want the bottom of the pool of water to be dirt it will look a bit odd I think if we have stone in here so we just have to go around and kind of replace anywhere that you'll be able to see the walls or the floor with dirt instead okay I think I've got these two sides to look kind of even I don't want it to be perfectly symmetrical because this is obviously supposed to be like natural terrain but I kind of still need it to be sort of even just so it doesn't look lopsided which it was looking but I think it's it's looking good now I think and now we just need to fill it all in with water are we done there we go 
We are done. We're all filled in with water here as well. And then I've blocked this part off because this will be the next bit of the waterfall. But we don't want to, don't want the water to go washing everything away just yet until we are ready. So we have got a bit of an island in the middle. We have our staircase here. The pathway, I think the pathway is going to come from along here. And then we're going to have stepping stones going from these islands over to the staircase. And this is another time where it would be really nice to have some lily pads. I think I'm going to leave that as a gap and we'll have that be a lily pad there. And then maybe we'll have another one over here. We definitely need to go find some lily pads to finish off this area. But I think it would also be good to have some pods all dotted around like they're sort of the muddy riverbanks. And now this, we have our middle layer that fits in with our top layer of water up here. And we just have to release the water from up here to get these waterfalls flowing. And there we have double waterfall down either side of this staircase into this lovely pool. We need some more greenery here. Our bone mill supply is drying up and then the path itself is going to follow around this hill and I think it's going to just wind its way down the hill and join up here next to where the house is which means I am going to need a whole bunch more mud. So I am back in my little mud hole and I am just going to harvest up a whole bunch of mud to start building the rest of the path. I also want to use some of the new flowers around here. So I'm going to take the seeds that we've collected so far and I'm going to just plant them in a temporary spot out here somewhere. And then these can grow while we are finishing off building the waterfall and the pathway up to the nether portal. And there's our advancement as well. So hopefully these will grow while we finish building. Now the waterfall is totally finished it turns into a little river down here and we have this little stepping stone path for the main pathway up to the nether portal which takes us up the side of the hill here and round to this view which is really awesome i really love this this area i've added some of the flowers i may have gone slightly overboard on the flowers and the bone mealing and the moss but I think it really adds to the feel of the area and it continues all across the hillsides here this whole valley is gonna look like this eventually and I think we're starting to be able to see what this valley is going to actually look like when I'm done with it and I've been lighting it up as well you might have seen I put in some lighting under some moss carpets so all of this area now should be mob proof and all around our starter house and we will have to continue the mob proofing as well and this river is going to go down or the waterfall is going to come down into a river here and I've just blocked it off here for now it's going to continue down into this area over here there's a huge area down here that I am saving for a bigger build but the water the river is going to go down there eventually and I am definitely going to put a bridge in here so this pathway will actually go over the river and I think that will be much better but I really love the combination of these pitcher pod blue and the uh, lilac purples I think these colors work really well together and then they fit with the pink really nicely as well and the greens in this in this biome it's such a nice green and I think it fits with all of these things really well I haven't ended up using any of the torch flowers because they're kind of just a bit too bright and they don't quite fit with the color palette if this area as well as the pitcher pods the blue does but we'll use them somewhere else just not not in the valley right now and we can take a look from up here by the entrance to the valley as well and we can see up to where the nether portal is and i think that this whole area and this waterfall coming down just looks so good i'm really really happy with this design 
I'm really happy with how that little corner of the valley has turned out. We've spent this whole episode so far building and decorating our nether portal, but I think now it might be time to actually use the nether portal. Let's go do some exploring in the nether. But first, I definitely need some gold armor. Where is my gold? Here it is. We can make a helmet. Should we make a helmet? Yeah. And I've got myself a bow that I enchanted in our little enchanting spawner area. So we will definitely take this. It's got infinity on it, so we just need one. Let's put everything else away because we don't need to be taking. I have my bow. I have some blocks. I've got a flint and steel in case our portal gets um, blown up by a ghast. And I got some torches and some food. I think we are ready to go and explore the nether. Okay, we have a really terrible nether spawn where we're like up in the air. I popped my head in here very, very briefly just to get some nether netherrack for some of my builds. All I've done is like dig out nether netherrack and look around at what a terrible, terrible spawn we have here. So yeah, I need to pick a direction. Maybe that direction? It kind of seems like we're going to be bridging wherever we go. And I need to remember the way out. So we're going to use some torches. We're going to try and make a trail of torches. I would really like to find some soul sand if I can. And if we can find a nether fortress, that would be amazing. Uh, currently, all we have is just lava. This is definitely an excellent idea. And is, and is definitely not going to have any kind of negative repercussions at all. Definitely not. This is this is gonna be fine. Oh, it's a basalt delta. The worst biome. We don't want that. Let's grab some mushrooms. We will need these mushrooms if we want to make. Oh, we have a bunch of these mushrooms already. I literally built out of these mushrooms in the first episode. What am I doing? Oh, that's a warped forest. I'm just going to grab some of the mushrooms, some of the wood. We can grow some of these back at home if we have the the mushrooms, if we take the mushrooms with us, which we can do. And then we don't have to come to the scary nether whenever we want warped wood. We can just we can just grow the mushrooms and that will be much better. Just a little bit of each thing. Oh, we we should take some of this back with us as well. We've got a silk pit. There we go. Yep, we can take some of the warped nylium because I think that you can only grow the mushrooms on the nylium. So, yeah, that's fine. We'll take some of that back. We'll take some mushrooms back. We'll take some wood back. Perfect. Is that? <gasps> it's a it's another fortress. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's right in. The... Oh, look where it is though. <laughs> it couldn't have been in a worse position. I'm gonna just dig my way through. I refuse to try and traverse. I'm gonna just go in a straight line and I'm gonna build a bridge. And this is gonna be fine. Nothing could possibly go wrong with this plat. We've made it to the nether fortress. And there's the achievement. Oh yes. Oh, and, and also now that we found this, we can actually just collect nether brick to build with because we've been smelting netherrack this whole time and as easy as netherrack is to, to collect, it's just so tedious having to smelt it to get these bricks. And then like you need you need like four of these to get just one brick. And then yeah, it's just it's a whole ordeal. And this is this will be much easier. We can just steal some from, from the nether fortress. Oh, and we have a nether wart room basically immediately with some soul sand, which is perfect. We get some nether wart for some brewing. We will definitely need some of that. I didn't bring my sword. How did all my shield? How how did I forget to bring a sword to the Nether? I know, Piglin. I honestly I don't know either. I'm getting very lost in this Nether fortress. But there's a chest. Oh my gosh, there's a chest. That's our first chest. Ah, <sighs> uh, okay. Diamonds, gold. I'll take those. I was kind of hoping for a sword since I forgot mine, but oh. Uh! Oh no. Oh no. Is there another place spawner? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh, this is this is this is going terribly. This is going terribly. Oh. 
Okay. Well, I might be in a little bit of a jam. I'm so worried about making sure I had gold and a bow, which is what I usually forget. That I forgot the sword and the shield. Is this another dead end? No? Goes around a corner? It's another dead end. Okay. Good. <laughs> it would be good to get a couple of blaze rods. I I will definitely have to come back when I'm properly prepared. <laughs> and have my sword and a, a shield. Uh. Oh no! Uh, that was a ghast! That was a ghast I just heard! Where's the ghast? Okay, I'm going this way. There we go. We got a blaze rod. We got one blaze rod. This nether fortress is enormous. Oh my gosh, now we're just up on the roof. Oh! Oh no! We are we're still alive. We didn't land in lava. That that could have just been lava down here. That could have been the end of us. Oh more more ghast. More ghast. Please leave me alone. There we go. Okay, any more? Okay, we've got a couple more. I think I think that that's gonna be good enough, you know? I think I'm gonna head home now. I already don't know the way home, so <laughs> we're gonna have to figure out the way home. I think it's, I think that's a good idea. We got some blaze rods. We got some warped wood. That's good. It would be good if we could find some crimson wood as well, because I'd love to use the crimson wood with the cherry blossom, with the cherry, the cherry wood. Uh, I think it's this way. This way. Yeah, let's let's leave the fortress. I'm done with the fortress. Now. I don't want to die. I don't want to die out here and lose all the things I've got. Okay, I've just decided to come back over to the portal, which is directly up there. I'm going to try going in this other direction, the opposite direction. This looks a bit easier to traverse, actually. I don't know why we didn't go this way first, but I'm glad we didn't because we found another fortress. Ooh, is this... Oh, oh, there's a ghast. Oh, no. No, no, no. Where are you? Oh, my gosh, my heart. I was right on the edge looking out over the lava when I heard the ghast noise and my heart just absolutely almost escaped my chest. I really feel like we should maybe have some kind of waterproof boat that we could use because, honestly, this just looks like so much fun to, like, ride. If this were water, I would ride down this in a boat without even thinking about it. Like, look at that. That's so cool. But it's lava, so we have to avoid it at all costs. Feeling very, very lavery um, in this area. You know, I think this might actually be enough nether for me today. Um, we got a couple of things. We, I didn't really need anything in particular. We can always come back when we need certain things for projects in the future. But for now, I think it's been good. We found, we found a fortress, which was really useful. We found some warped wood. I think that I'm going to call that good enough for today and uh, not risk my life anymore. Why is there light over there? Why is there... What is that light? What is that glow? This bit of river is not very lit up. Let's fix that. We need to fix this. This bit of water needs to be lit better. I'm really enjoying this water feature nether portal that we have. I love that there's just sort of a pathway that leads all the way up to the nether portal and we've made it like a destination. Instead of just a portal kind of stuck somewhere out of the way. And we managed to go and collect some useful things from the nether. And we know where a fortress is now. So we can definitely get some more things that we need for projects later on. But we got some warped wood and we got some blaze rods to get us started. This has been a lot of fun to make from the building to the nether exploration. As much as I hate the nether, it's kind of fun sometimes. Just for a little bit. It's kind of fun. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.